They went weeks without speaking. In fact, the only way Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan seemed to be communicating with Governor Brad Little was through a newsletter and by showing up at Open Up Idaho rallies. Throughout the pandemic, McGeehan has been very public about her criticism of Governor Little's plan to quarantine and then reopen Idaho. And she wasn't the only one. Last week, we told you about an official campaign underway to recall Governor Little. Well, yesterday, those two were in the same room together for the first time in a long time. So after her continued criticism of the governor, would Idaho's lieutenant governor sign that recall petition? Here's Joe Paris. I'm going to ask you a simple yes or no question. Do you or do you not support the recall? Nate, I am focused on doing my job. After continued criticism of Governor Brad Little's handling of coronavirus, Lieutenant Governor Janice McGeehan addressed their tense relationship Tuesday on Nate Shellman's show on KBOI Radio. In the interview, Shellman references the official campaign to recall Governor Little stemming from the handling of coronavirus here in Idaho. And recall organizers tell me that they have very similar complaints to the ones McGeehan had. So the question is, does she support the recall? Here's her first answer to that question. Well, I, um, I recognize that there is a lot of anger and frustration that's out there right now. We have a lot of work to do to restore the people's face, faith in their state government, and that's what I'm committed to doing. It hasn't been just critical words from McGeehan. A few weeks back, she continued to urge Idahoans to disobey Governor Little's stay-at-home order and his phased reopening plan for the state. The lieutenant governor also attended both in-person and online rallies aimed at getting the governor to reconsider his plan. McGeehan was also very critical of the governor after a North Idaho bar received a warning from state police because they opened ahead of Governor Little's plan. In a statement to the conservative Christian site Redoubt News, the lieutenant governor said in part, the governor is using the Idaho State Police and the Alcohol Beverage Control Bureau to harass and intimidate private business in Idaho. Her statement went on to say that she thinks the governor's stay-at-home order and its associated enforcement are in direct contradiction to the inalienable rights of man as laid out in the state constitution. The conversation on Nate Shellman's show Tuesday continued as Shellman tried to get an answer out of McGeehan on the recall petition. I can make the question simple if you want to. If somebody hands you a recall petition and says, will you sign this, will you sign that recall Governor Little petition or not? I will not sign it. Okay. No. Not signing it and not supporting it, though, are different things. So Shellman clarified. Yes or no? Do you support the petition to recall Governor Little? I do not support the petition. The lieutenant governor did add, however. But I also want to encourage, I, I, wa I want to encourage people to be engaged in the government process. And so if that's what it means for people to be activated, run for office, then, then I, I support that. And I applaud the people of Idaho for, for their effort and for being engaged because that's what it's going to take for us to protect our great state of Idaho. Okay, so that's a very political answer, Joe. And so she does. She believes in the ballot box. That's where this all should be settled. And we mentioned they were in the room together for the first time in a long time just yesterday. Do we know anything about how their relationship, if it has improved at all? Well, the pair has uh, really kept the relationship private. Both the governor and lieutenant governor have both kind of spoken code over the last few months, really, last few weeks, talking about why their schedules haven't connected or if they've been chatting. As Brian mentioned yesterday during that AARP town hall, that was really the first time we've seen them in a room together. Beyond that, though, Brian, moving forward, it's just going to have to see what the working relationship is between the lieutenant governor and the governor. Uh, you would assume yesterday them actually being in the same room together for an event would be a good sign. And as she's mentioned before, and so is the governor, they don't always have to agree. They're not elected together. They're not on the same ticket, so they can come at things from different sides. That's perfectly acceptable. Thank you, Joe.